Good morning, everyone. So I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about iPad return, which starts next week. There are three PowerPoints that I'm gonna to attach to this assignment. Some of them are pretty similar, but they do have a few different things about them. I'd like you to look through each one. And then at the end of looking through each of those, there is a short, very easy quiz that just kind of documents that you read and watched and you know what's going on. So to start off with, we're gonna have three groups for iPad return. There'll be the seniors first, the MHS online or learn from home kids. And then we'll have one massive checkout day for all of our freshmen, sophomores and juniors. So at my desk, there's gonna be a check-in station. Your first group is gonna be seniors. And so we're just gonna look them up in the notebook um, by their last name, documents, the, the iPad that they're returning by their asset number. And we're gonna document whether their cord and charger were returned. Um, if it looks like their cord and charger is in good shape, we'll have them bag it up and put the charger in first and the cord in second because it fits better. Then what we're looking at is if there are any cracks, any LCD damage, any concerns. I mean, we're just talking to them. Are there any problems we need to be aware of? but we're also doing a visual look because nobody actually wants to pay for that sort of thing. So some kids are not 100% forthcoming. So I have some cleaning wipes. You can just kind of wipe it down and make sure that everything looks good, document any concerns. And then I need to check and stamp their checkout form for their iPad that they turned in their cord and the charger and they don't need charged for it. Then, the iPad is gonna be passed on into the Geek Squad office to the desk that typically Sawyer sits at. That is gonna be our Jamf station. And you will um, look up the iPad by asset tag number, and then you will wipe the device. So first station is gonna be the Jamf station, looking over the iPad for cracks, damage to the LCD, anything we didn't notice at first glance. Use Jamf to electronically wipe the device by asset tag. Make sure you know that everything matches up with student names and numbers. And then um, if you would happen to notice that a student has two devices checked out, please let Ms. Lori know right away. Um, once those seniors are gone, we have no way of recovering that money or that iPad. So just keep an eye out for that sort of situation. After that station, the iPad will go to the um, computer station in the corner where Jaden and Alex typically sit. You're gonna put on some gloves and once you have your gloves on, we're gonna get things kind of cleaned and sanitized on those iPads. So the first picture shows the products that are for screens. Um, you have the whoosh, some wipes um, that you can use on the screen. And then for the case, you have things like um, that are a little bit more substantial with more um, antibacterial qualities in them. And that's why I want you to have some gloves on while you're doing this. If you're touching those harsher chemicals all day long, it literally can burn your skin. So um, just for your safety and the sake of your cute, cute little hands, I don't want you to do that without having gloves on. Um, at this point, the iPad should be powered off before you do any cleaning on them. So make sure that you have powered off iPads before you start doing cleaning. Um, it does take a little bit longer if it has a sticker on the back that wasn't a removable sticker. And um, that might mean, you know, using a Q-tip or something, letting the Goo Gone sit on it and then peeling it off. And so I did put the fan back there. Please feel um, comfortable turning on the, the fan to get air circulating so that, you know, you're so that you're not getting high while you're cleaning iPads. All right, um, then once everything's cleaned and the iPad has been reset and jammed, it's clean, it's turned off, it's ready just to sit for the summer and get ready to meet a new freshman or a new student next year. So we have to organize the iPads by the asset tag numbers. So there are some iPad carts right behind the door. You're gonna just double check once more that the iPad's turned off because keep in mind that whatever we don't shut down accidentally, we have to make the time to charge when we get back to school in August. And let me just tell you from experience, that is a drag. And so we wanna make sure it's turned off. 
We're going to put it on the cart. We're going to start putting it in number order by asset tag number. And initially we'll truncate, you know, we'll put like all the 2,500s together and then all the 2,400s together and then all the whatever numbers together. And then we'll sit and put them in perfect order. Now, here's the most important thing. So get out your phone and take a picture of this screen. When school gets out, we have finals on Monday and Tuesday of the week. And then Wednesday is um, a potential half day for kids who are trying to save their butts and you know have to take an extra final or something like that. But most kids are gone on Wednesday. You have the opportunity to be paid to work from eight to four on Wednesday, May 26th, Thursday, May 27th, and Friday, May 28th. So I want you to talk to your folks now and see if you have permission to work those days. Take a picture of it, talk to mom and dad tonight, and I'm gonna start kinda asking you next week if you're able to commit. On each of those days, we'll be working on iPad organizing, inventory, that kind of stuff. And we have to do an actual paper or pencil inventory to make sure we got back everything and document anything that was lost, stolen, that sort of thing over this school year. Now to bribe you to get here at eight o'clock each day, I provide a light breakfast for you because I know you're not morning people, but then we'll work until um, about 12 o'clock. And at 12 o'clock, you guys have lunch on your own. You can walk or drive or do your thing and you have an hour for lunch. And then we'll work in the afternoon from one to four. So basically that it comes out to seven hours of work times three days at $10 an hour with no taxes or anything taken out. So you have a chance in three days to make $210, which is a pretty quick, easy tax-free paycheck if you're interested in doing it. And so um, I need to know next week who is able to do that. And I would love to have your help. So, and this is something we only offer to Geek Squad kids. So it's a cool opportunity. Your next task is to start looking through the PowerPoints and um, get a little information. 